today's video, we're going to try something a little bit different. Uh, previously, we do videos up and we, we show some tips and techniques on some, um, you know, some more common functionalities in Mastercam. But this time, we're going to switch it up a little bit and we're going to do uh, what we're going to call the uh, the five minutes, five axis impeller. And let's call it a challenge. Why not? So I'm going to try and program this part up and uh, do it in five minutes. So, so obviously, uh, there's going to be a few... A few caveats with this this challenge. This is not going to be an optimized program. It's not going to have a great surface finish at the end. It's not going to look like a mirror, but um, just trying to show that uh, with some of the uh, tool paths in MashCam, we can program up what would be an extremely complicated part uh, with complex tool paths and, and get pretty close to a, a very completed program in a, uh, in a short amount of time. So uh, we'll get started here, and I'm going to be using the Blade Expert toolpath. Uh, this thing does make life very easy. I'm just grabbing an end mill. Uh, I've already got my holder defined here, so yeah, cheating a little bit, but that's that's okay. Uh, stock is going with my job setup. Again, I've already cheated there a bit again as well. I've, I've set up my stock for this toolpath already. And it's basically just kind of what, be, what would be a, a turn profile uh, of this part. Okay, so with this Blade Expert program, all we really need to do is pick the type of toolpath we want to do on this impeller, which for now is going to be roughing. Uh, I'm going to stick with this conventional type of offsetting from the hub. And I'm going to zigzag my cut. So basically what that means is I'm going to take a cut down the middle and then zigzag up and down uh, the blades here. And I'm going to be doing a from center away so that I'm doing a climb milling cut. So it's going to go down the middle once uh, at a full slot and then as it steps out over it's always going to be doing a climb milling cut. So that's kind of the preferred cutting method. Uh, I just tell it here now how much I want to step down and how much I want to step over. So since I don't want this simulation to take ages I'm going to keep these numbers relatively high maybe a little bit higher than normal just to cut down on some uh, some tool path. Uh, so now we're going to define what the part actually what it actually is. So up here we can define the blades and the fillets and the splitters and the hub. So let's grab the hub first, which is pretty easy to define. It's the floor here, and I'm going to grab this piece up here as well, just so I don't get any gouges into it. So that's it there. I've defined the hub. I'm obviously going to leave some some stock here, ten thou. Uh, next up is defining the blades. So really all I need to do here is grab just enough information about these blades to set up the pattern. Make sure I get that small little face in there. So I'm grabbing just two of the blades. I don't need to grab them all. I'm just grabbing up enough to basically define this section in here. And when I do that, now I come in here and I tell it how many sections I want to cut, which is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six. And I want to machine them all at this time. Again, I'm going to bump up this tolerance a little bit just to try and make things go a little bit quicker. And oh, I almost forgot to leave some stock on this, this feature here. Let's hit OK and let that build up. This shouldn't take too long to rough out. And I'm looking at my clock here. I'm already getting about halfway into my time. But we're roughed out, and hopefully these next few steps go a little quicker. So I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste that twice. I'm going to use this operation here to finish the blade. So let's go in and edit this copied operation. Stock, this time I'm going to let the operation auto detect it. Again, using the same tool, I'm kind of cheating a little bit here. And I want to finish the blade. Uh, this time I'm going to do a, a nice blend between the top and the bottom of the, uh, the blades themselves. So it kind of looks a little nicer. And I'm going to trim away the the ends here, I don't want it to cut around that back side. Uh, next up, we need to define our geometry again. The hub geometry is already there, it's a copied operation, so I don't need to reselect that. Uh, the blades, uh, so this time I don't want to select two blades, I just want to select one. So let's just re grab that geometry for one blade. And this time I needed to grab some shroud information, which is basically just kind of the top piece there. And since this is going to be going, I want it to go around here. I'm going to input a check surface and tell it to not cut that face there. 
Okay, so everything looks good there, cutting six segments. Again, tolerance is pretty high because I'm wanting this to rebuild rather quickly. And since I wanted it to work around the back side of these uh, blades, I'm going to come down to my linking here and allow it to do some uh, some spline blendings. Uh, actually, leave that one as is. Okay, so let's hit OK on that. We'll get that one rebuilding while we go in here and start to edit our last operation, which will be for the floors. Uh, again, we'll leave this to auto detect, cut pattern. This time we're cutting the floor, hub finishing. Everything in here should be defined correctly, so I'm just gonna tell this to leave zero stock. Everything's staying the same. Again, leaving some tolerance here just so things rebuild quickly, and let's hit okay, and regen that one. And we are pretty much done. So there's the floor finish. There's our blade finish. There's our roughing operation. So this part is, um, in quotations, completely uh, programmed and ready to cut. So I'm going to launch this into a solid verify. And we'll get a final look at our completed part. All right, through some movie magic, here we are at the completed simulation. Uh, you can see, obviously, there's a few things that uh, stick out. Rough rough finish, maybe a few marks in the hub. Um, that could be caused by the low performance I've got set on my Verify here, uh, the high tolerance that I've got set in my toolpaths, or just overall that I made this toolpath in five minutes and uh, may have missed a few things. Uh, regardless, though, that's that's pretty... Uh, pretty good that you can make a program like this that can do this five axis machining and do it all within uh, five minutes. Uh, so just thought I'd do something a little bit different in this video. If you like something like this, let me know and maybe we'll do some more uh, five minute challenges in the future.